Sirach chapter 25, verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have joy of his children. And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Next, though, honors to the head apostles and elders of great millstone, ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing. Keep the faith with God so people here forbear. We're just sitting here thinking, man, how much of a blessing it's going to be. How much of a blessing it is to be able to see the downfall of your enemy. You know, the person that's been putting hell on you for hundreds of years, never thought about, never thought twice about your well being. I mean, your great, great, great granddaddy, granddaddy, your daddy, now you, now your kids, your kids' kids, been catching hell for over 500 years. It's going to be a beautiful thing to see the downfall of our enemy. So, right chapter 25, verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart. In his mind, right? The heart, that word heart goes back to the Hebrew word love, which means your mind, right? And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children. That's one of the things that makes a man happy. To see his children grow old and have seed. And then their seed have seed. So forth and so on, right? It's one of the things, right? And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. That's the one thing a man lives for. That's one of a man's desires. Is to see the downfall of his enemy, man. Alright? That's all we think about, man. Is the downfall of our enemy. Look, why not? What's wrong with that? Something wrong with that? Something wrong with that? Nah, ain't nothing wrong with that. They want you to make it. They want you to make it seem like there's something wrong with that. A person been putting hell on you for the longest. Been pumping your kids full of nonsense. You been eating nonsense. You have learned nonsense. But then they want you to be happy at the end of the day. No. We just read some of the things that makes a man happy. This is Psalm chapter 37. Verse 34. And it reads, Wait on the Lord. Yeah, how about Hashem Yahweh Shai? That's what we're doing. We're waiting on the Lord. And keep his way. And we're keeping the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible to the best of our ability, right? And he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. It says, when the wicked are cut off, who's the wicked? Sleazy E. These E's, man. They're the wicked according to the Bible. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it, man. That's one of the joys of a man. That's one of the things that makes a man happy. To finally see his enemy get his just due. Everybody loved it when we went down. According to the Bible. The Lord didn't say nothing about go grabbing no weapons or nothing. The Lord said wait upon him. Wait upon Yahweh by Shimei Osha. I just read that. I'm just sitting back thinking man. How it's going to be a beautiful thing to see the downfall of our enemies. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 8. I'm just rolling the spirit right about now, man. I'm just sitting here thinking, I'm saying, getting ready for bed. Just 
said, thank you, man. We catch hell each and every day on these jobs, some more than others. In society, period, being a Hebrew Israelite. So, yeah, most definitely, we're waiting on our enemy to go down. What else do you think we're waiting on? Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8, Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord. The Lord told us to wait, so we're waiting, right? We're waiting for that glorious day, that beautiful day. When Lord Yahweh shall crack those clouds and take our enemies down. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. Who's to pray these other nations, man? Mainly sleazy E. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, his righteous anger. That's what the Lord is coming back with, righteous anger. And he's gonna he's gonna come back and judge you nations, man. He's gonna come back and judge two thirds of his own people, most definitely. But he's gonna also judge you nations, man. Alright? To pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. You know, and that's what we're waiting on, Israel. We're waiting on Yahweh, Bashim Yahshua to come back with that fierce anger. That fierce anger, that righteous anger to do away with our enemies, man. Once again, Israel, these people have been putting hell on us. For as oh, long as we can remember, Israel. Ain't you tired? Ain't you ready for the Lord to come back? I know we are. Starting off with the head apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the men on down. And the other camps affiliated with Great Millstone is coming with the same doctrine. We're ready for the Lord to come. Micah chapter 5 verse 15. And I will execute vengeance in anger and fury upon the heathen and that, that's what's going to happen when the Lord come back he's going to execute vengeance in anger he's saying he's going to meet you as a man and fury upon the heathen non-Israelites man y'all did the children of the Lord real bad you heathens and the Lord said he's going to pay vengeance back on you man such as they have not heard, it's gonna get that bad. It's gonna get it's gonna get that bad. You you heathens ain't never heard of an ass whooping like this. The scriptures say we're gonna take them captives who captives we were. You know, the scriptures told us he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's what I read. And look, and, and that's what I believe. That's what I read, and that's what I believe, man. All right? And it's going it's to be a beautiful thing to see it all play out. Regardless if the rest of our people um, here forbear, it's going to be a beautiful thing for the elect Lord, when we're part of that hopeful number, to see our enemies actually go down. You know? It's going to be a beautiful thing, Israel. 2 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 28. Punish them that oppress us. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It didn't say love them. It didn't say hug them. It didn't say kiss them. It didn't say treat them right. It says punish them that oppress us. Remember, oppression will make up a wise man mad. Ecclesiastes. 77 surely oppression make up a wise man man we want the god of the bible to come back through and do them something real and it's gonna happen regardless it's already written punish them that oppress us and with pride do us wrong they got that pride arrogant pompous spirit about them when they persecute us when they do us wrong when they treat us like crap, you see the look on their face? Well, well when the guy of the Bible come back, he's going to wipe that look off your face, you heathens. Once again, 2 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 28, punish them that oppress us. Yahweh by Shem Shai. That's one of our desires. 
That's what we think about day and night, man. Like I said before, I'm just flowing in the spirit right about them. And with pride, do us wrong. Remember, pride go up before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. They've been treating us wrong for thousands of years, man. You know? But I pray to Yahweh about Shemel Shai that he come back and punish the people that oppress us. And with pride, do us wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't look, ain't nothing wrong with that. Trying to make us feel bad for wanting the God about to come back and do them just like they did us. No, nah, nah, we're not gonna feel bad for that. You know. But we're not gonna feel bad for praying to the God about to come back and put you heathens in the captivity. No, we're not gonna feel bad for that. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad. O daughter of Edom, you sleazy ease, man, rejoice. Be happy right about now. You're ruling right about now. But remember, we pray constantly to your how about Shemel Shadi come back and hurry up and take you down. Just remember that. That's one of our desires. Just remember that, sleazy E. And you other nations, man. But the scripture said, rejoice and be glad. O daughter of Edom, you got the fatness of the earth. You receive your consolation already. You better enjoy it. That, look, that dwells in the land of Uz, code name for America, right? The cup also shall pass through unto thee. What's that cup, slavery? Hell, which is a condition played out on earth. You ever heard the saying, the so-called black man's hell is a so-called white man's heaven? I know you done heard that saying right there, right? You know? That cup is slavery, man. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and shall make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. O daughter of Zion, the Hebrew Israelites, look, our slavery, our punishment is almost over. We're at the end of it. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. It's now it's time for you nations to pay, right? He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Now, the only thing we're praying for is to see the downfall of our enemy. Now, knowing this scripture right here is being fulfilled. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. Esau is Edom. Esau is the progenitor or the aka the father of the Edomites, man. The God of Bible says he's going to visit your iniquities, your wickedness, right? O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. And that's the time frame that we're living in right about now. That's the time frame that we're living in right about now. Where you how about Shem Shai, who they eagerly call God and Jesus Christ about to come back and visit you heathens for everything that y'all did wrong on the face of the earth. Look, and look, and mainly touching the children of Israel. You know. The apple of his eye. So you people forgot with, with the apple of your how about Shemel Shai's eye, right? You look, you, you forgot about that one, didn't you? This is Baruch chapter 4. You forgot about that. You did us wrong and you've been doing us wrong. And you're going to stop doing us wrong until the Lord come back. Baruch chapter 4, verse 25. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from your how so we know everything that's happening to us right about now is happening to us for our disobedience, right? And the Lord used Caesar E to, to whoop us, right? That's a whooping stick of the Lord. That's a sword of the Lord. So the Lord told us to suffer patiently. The wrath that has come upon you from your hour, for thine enemy have persecuted thee. We got enemies, Israel, and they persecuted us and they still persecuting us, Israel. But shortly, that ain't going to take that long. It seemed like long because we in the flesh. But shortly, thou shalt see his destruction. Ain't that one of our desires is, is to see the destruction and downfall of our enemies? Thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck, man. That's going to be a beautiful thing, man. You know? That's going to be a beautiful thing. 
The scriptures tell us, look, look, just hold on. Your power will come with vengeance. I'm going to jump up. Same book, Baruch chapter 4, verse 21. Be of good cheer, my children, the children of Israel, starting off with the elect. Cry unto the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, because we ain't got nobody else to cry to. And he will deliver you from the power and the hand of your enemies, man. All right? And that's what we're waiting on. We patiently sitting back suffering what we got to go through, waiting on this day to be fulfilled, man. They actually see the downfall of our enemies, man. That's going to be a, a day to rejoice over, man. To actually see these heathens going to captivity, every last one of them, for what they did to us. Like I said before, I'm just rolling in the spirit right about now. Just going through some scriptures. Scriptures is coming in my mind right about now. You know? This is Psalm chapter 58, verse 10. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. We're going to rejoice when we see the vengeance being taken upon the wicked of the earth. When Yahweh by Shemel shall come back and judge these sleazy heads and these other heads, look, we're going to rejoice. All right? We're going to sing aloud upon our bed. You know? And we're most definitely going to sing, Oh, happy day, man. Oh, happy day. And I got one more scripture and I'm going to end it. I got one more scripture and I'm going to end it. Let's get this Thessalonians right quick. And then I'm going to end it, man. You see, I'm thinking through the spirit of your heart about Shemel Shai. How much of a beautiful day it's going to be to see the downfall of our enemy, man. Let's get this. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing. With Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai to recompense me and pay back tribulations to them that trouble you. These people are constantly troubling us, man. And they don't lit up, man. You know? It's a righteous thing with Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai to pay these people back. But we got to wait on the Lord to do it, right? And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord, Yahweh Shai, who they even call Jesus, shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, man. You know, the Lord is coming back with his mighty angels. And you know that's going to be a dope scene. You know that's going to be something um, fantastic. You know, just to see the Lord come back, man. It's going to be beautiful. We just got to hold on, Israel. Constantly pray to your high by Shemel Shai to give us strength to continue on. We know it's rough. Everybody going through it right about now. Especially man that's in this truth. Just hold on. I tell myself that every day. Just hold on. Isaiah 35 and 3. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong. Fear not. Behold, your power, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, will come with vengeance. That's all we've been reading. He's going to come with vengeance. Even Yahweh by Shemiah Shai with a recompense. He will come and save you, man. All right? That's my only train of thought. Being saved and delivered from our enemies. And seeing the downfall of our enemies, man. Look, it, look, it, it ain't gonna take that much longer. It's coming. The scripture say the triumphant of the wicked is short, right? And the joy of the hypocrite, look, but for a moment, you have about Shemel Shad and already number his days already. He said bounds that this devil or none of you heathens can surpass, man. Job 14, 5. Seeing his days are determined. Sleazy E, your days are determined. The number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. You got a date where death soon come, Sleazy E. It's coming. 
Shalom.